These are the images Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro does not want you to see. He says the fires that have been affecting the Amazonia region happened in deforested areas. But this place proves him wrong. This is the Japada del Jimoraes National Park in the state of Mato Grosso. It's 32,000 hectares of protected territory. The problem now is that 11% of it has been devastated by the fire. The government has banned members of Brazil's environmental agency from talking to the press or grant them access to locations like this one. Jorge Huire has been living here for over 30 years. He says this is the first time this area has been affected by fire. I don't know why, but there are ranches nearby. Maybe the fire came from there. What's behind it is the attempt by agribusiness to grow soya bean. It's very sad because this place is filled with life. They want to turn the forest into money, no matter what gets in the way. Many here fear the president's words when he insists he wants to open up the Amazons for business. This area is known as the doorstep of Amazonia. The whole region includes seven states in Brazil. The fires are still ongoing. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some smoke right over there. Benur Marimon has been studying the rainforest for years. He says Amazonia needs to be protected. This tree like this, this size, look this trunk. We have tons of carbon dioxide storage into these trees. This acts as a filtering of excessive carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Uh, the Amazon forest can uh, compensate all the emissions of Latin America. Marimon says Brazil's culture of deforesting the region needs to change. Because we have this culture to slash and burn, to create new areas for agriculture, or pastures to produce meat and to produce soybean. Uh, but this culture, uh, we, we have to change this culture because slash and burn is a very primitive form to use the land. Each time the forest burns, it loses its capacity to absorb the carbon dioxide blamed for global warming. Thousands of hectares of forest have already been devastated. For now, it seems, the force of nature will endure. The question is, for how long? Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Chapada Don Guimorais, Brazil.